What's going on there, everyone? All right, we're going to be talking about this story from the Daily Caller. It bounces back off of a story we were talking about earlier in a previous video. Trump triples down on tweets, criticizes Democratic Congresswoman during presser. Now, I said this was a strategic thing he's doing, where a lot of the media is like, they're sitting there like, what is he doing? He's, he's, he's realigning the Democratic Party to come together. Exactly. That, that's a good thing to do. People are seeing that as that's a problem. No. No, it's not. See, what he's doing is very simple. It's very simple. He's sitting there, and you had the Nancy Pelosi-style Democrats, the, the ones you would consider, or they consider, the moderates. And then you have the far-left progressives, AOC and her little group. Now, all this infighting was actually making the moderates look better. It was making moderate Democrats look kind of good because they're calling out the crazies, you know, the leftists. They're calling them out on a lot of things. Well, when Trump weighed in, he, he said his little statement in a, in a pretty harsh way when he tweeted it and uh it got him back in line and everyone was like oh why would he do that why does he want him to be aligned well he puts that moderate side back in line with the far left progressives you see what i'm saying so really it's it's kind of a, a, a it's an odd but awesome strategy he's got going on and if anyone can make it work he can make it work he's just good at this type of thing it's it's his cup of tea Let's get into the story. President uh, Donald Trump refused to back down Monday over a series of tweets telling freshman Democratic Congresswoman to uh, fix their corrupt and inept homelands before legislating in the U.S., asserting that the group of women hate our country. Yeah, I would say that's uh, that was a pretty fair thing to say, in my opinion. Because if you look at I know only one of them is an actual immigrant, but the the places they prop up and they make seem so much better and, and this, that, and the other and the groups they prop up and make it seem like they're so good and all this are really bad places and people and groups. Yeah, and they have ex like pretty much explicitly said that America is not good. It's not a good country. And some of them have said those exact words that America is not good. And, uh... Yeah, so a lot of people do not like these far left progressives because they're they're stupid. They're ignorant. America's the best country on the planet. Look at them. They they are success stories of the American dream. I don't I don't know why they uh complain so much. I just don't get it. The tweets were deemed to be racist by many. As Representative Alex, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, Ayanna Presley, were all born in the United States. Representative Elon Omar was born in Somalia and came to the U.S. as a refugee. And she's one of the most vocal about how freaking Hamas is great, Hezbollah is great, Al-Qaeda is great, you know. She is a problem. She shouldn't have office. Because she actually kind of seems to like our enemies better than our own country, which is not good. If weak politicians want to say, and the Democrats in this case, if they want to gear their wagons around these four people, I think they're going to have a very tough election. Because I don't think the people of the United States will stand for it, Trump asserted. These are people that hate our country, he continued. They hate it, I think, with a passion. Now, it's possible, I'm wrong, the voter will decide. Uh, Trump specifically blasted the members f for alleged anti-Semitism and comments about 9-11 and Al-Qaeda. Representative Omar, for example, infamously tweeted in 2012 that Israel has hypnotized the... It's been, two, it's been 2012 since she said that? That felt yet, like yesterday. Um, Israel has hypnotized the world and described the 9-11 terrorist attacks during a uh, care event in late March as some people did something, which all of that was highly offensive to most Americans. Even, even regular sane Democrats were like, what? 
why would you say something like that? I mean, she was rebuked pretty hard, pretty hard. All I'm saying is, if they want us to leave, or, or if they want to leave, then leave, Trump said, addressing the part of his tweet where, um, the tweet thread that suggested the congresswoman were from other countries. It doesn't say leave forever. <laughs> yeah, Omar, an immigrant, claimed she probably loves America more than natural-born Americans, arguing that her critiques of America are merely attempts to make the country live up to its values. I think we're doing a pretty damn good job of living up to the American values. It seems to be only the far left and activist types that have a problem with the way America is going. And, you know, that that's just her opinion. It's not a factual thing. It's a typical typical situation on the left. She's more worried about her opinions than the facts of the matter. The facts of the matter is that America is awesome. It's awesome to the citizens. It's awesome for legal immigrants. They come here legally, and they generally make something very good of themselves. When you see homeless people, it's usually not a bunch of immigrants. Just saying. It's usually a bunch of Americans, which is a problem, too. But, yeah, th th he did walk back his statement. He did walk it back a little bit, which was very smart. You know, he, he took some of the aggressive language out because that's, that's probably one of his biggest problems when he does these type of things, when he gets into it with people. Because when he gets into it, he will get into it. We all know that. Like, he will get knee-deep in that thing. And uh, walking it back during this presser was probably a very smart idea because he did have a lot of people even on the right like ah, that was a little rough a little rough i know how he speaks i know what he means you know i i, I can weed through the hyperbolic craziness generally of what he's saying because that's I mean, you know that's what he does he knows it's going to get media attention and you got to remember the media even the negative media attention in 2016 helped him get elected. People don't care. People don't care as much as the media wants to make it seem like this is some huge thing. People just don't care, you know? Like anything, it gets old to people, you know? They, they just don't care anymore. They put it on a back burner. They say, yeah, I'm sure he did say that. He's got some points, especially if you know these women. He's got some points. And I don't see why it's saying go back to where you came from or whatever. It's not really a racist comment to me. I say that, I, well, I don't say that particularly, but I, I tell people if they don't like America, leave. There's plenty of other countries you can go to. America is free, so you are free to leave. And if you want to come back after you see that you made a terrible mistake, you're free to come back. That's fine. So I don't, I don't really have a problem with anything he said. I think it was kind of funny. It was a little harsh, a little brash, but that is to be expected when you're dealing with President Donald Trump. I'd love to hear your comments on this, whether you think he's going way too far or whether you think his little bit of a walk back was a very smart thing to do or just the overall strategy of what he's doing. Or if you think my uh, opinions on his strategy are just a bunch of shit. I'd love to hear your comments. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you on the flip side.